And now GMA on call about cholesterol level, levels and memory. We know that keeping our bad cholesterol down is good for our heart, but a new study says keeping our good cholesterol, known as HDL, well, keeping that up could also help our mind. Our medical editor, Dr. Tim Johnson, joins us from Boston with a look at the study and some tips on how to raise your good cholesterol. Good to see you, Tim. So what does the study tell us? It looked at almost 4,000 British subjects at age 55 and found that those who had low levels of HDL, 40 or under, had a 27% increased risk for memory loss, based on a simple test, versus those who had high levels, 60 or over. And when they repeated it, five years later, the difference was even more significant, a 53% difference. So we know there are ways in which HDL might help the brain, reducing cholesterol in the arteries, uh, improving transmission between nerve endings, et cetera. So it's a possible theory, and it might help prevent, eventually, Alzheimer's disease. All right, so how do we raise our good cholesterol? I know we have some, some foods mm -hmm. here that will kind of illustrate that, Tim. Well, there are some dietary changes that might help some people, at least in modest fashion, basically avoiding trans and saturated fats, mm -hmm. going for the monosaturated fats like uh, canola oil or olive oil or even peanut oil. Cranberry juice, for example, seems to help some people. Probably even more important than these dietary changes, for sure, are stopping smoking and losing weight and even modest amounts of alcohol. And the single most important lifestyle change is regular exercise. And some studies suggest that the duration of the exercise, in this case at least, may be even more important than the intensity. Finally, Robin, I do want to point out that there are many people already taking statin drugs to lower the bad cholesterol, the LDL, mm -hmm. and those drugs in some people will produce modest increases in HDL also. All right, good. thank you so much, Tim, for that insight.